Welcome back to Sustainable Innovation Interview Series. I'm Clara Chen, Founding Managing Partner of the Singapore Deep Tech Alliance. Today, I have a very special guest with me. He's Mr. Ronnie Lee, former General Manager of Lenovo Singapore, who is now the Director of Service Sales, Lenovo Central Asia Pacific. Hi, Ronnie. It's great having you here. Hi, Clara. Thanks for having me. So, Ronnie, would you share with our audience um, a bit of it about your background and your experience? Um, I spent about 25 years in IT, all right, uh, very, very so-called fervent about uh, certain things uh, like sustainability, CSR, and I always believe in, you know, uh, having that payback to the community that we operate in, all right, uh, which resonates with the values that Lenovo has. And I think uh, throughout the years, you know, uh, you know, it's also important that uh, I, I continue with a growth mindset, become agile, and, and I'm really happy to be here today because I think the, the topic we're talking about today, sustainability, is, is something that a lot of people feel very strongly about, you know, and I think in Singapore itself we have a Sustainability Act that uh, really actually puts the spotlight on, uh, you know, all of us having a great part to play and uh, we, with this, you know, hopefully uh, through, through the rest of the sessions, you know, we can uh, share a little bit more about what we do over at Lenovo as well that uh, you know, your audience can pick up some good tips. What does sustainable innovation mean compared to ordinary innovation? Well, that's really a good question, right? Um, well, a lot of people go into this innovation route, you know, believing that, look, if I put in enough uh, efforts to drive new things, but that's good because I think from the commercial payback angle, uh, that's really, really nice for the shareholders. But, uh, well, is, is this some, something sustainable? against the longer run, that's, that's what I think you know, sustainable, sustained innovation will be. Right? And I think uh, beyond the fact that uh, you, you have to come up with great things, you know, that there is also an element whereby collaboration is important, right? because uh, not everybody has the best idea, but together we can do something greater for the greater good. And I think uh, within, within this context, uh, we, we have seen a lot of developments Right, even in uh, companies like ourselves, you know, after operating for 35 years, and we say, hey, we have to continue to take the leadership in sustainable innovation. All right, and uh, I think there's a really powerful word that we use called smarter technology for all, because we also believe that we can use technology to empower our customers, stakeholders, you know, to be able to then collaborate with us to do more. So, what are some of the special projects that you have created that are environmentally sustainable and with which organisations are you partnering on this? For us, you know, this uh, paradigm about uh, working on something sustainable transcends beyond just ourselves, right? And uh, we, we believe in adopting science-based initiative, right? Uh, basically, we have committed to limit growth of uh, CO2 emission you know, to 1.5% uh, in the next 10 years. And good news to share uh, is that uh, the last 10 years when we decided to say, hey, look, we, are, we, are, we want to reduce 50%, we actually came out as a 92% reduction. So, so well, being Lenovo and the culture is really aggressive, right? So, so again, we set a 50% target, but I'm confident, you know, our colleagues together uh, with ourselves you know, will be able to beat that target again. So, so that's the part about itself. And of course, um, being responsible, we also want to make sure that uh, we are considering other options in logistics you know, for our customers. Now, today, in terms of packaging, we are using bamboo fiber, cane fiber as alternative, right? Because uh, these are combustible and uh, basically in, uh, easily uh, disintegrate, right? And of course, uh, we're giving customers the option of saying, hey, look, why don't you do bulk packaging instead of having it? You know, every package is like uh, packed together with too much foam and all that stuff. Uh, with that, we are also working on empowering our customers to go on the journey with us. All right. So, as I shared a little bit before this interview start, right? We, we, we want to be able to say, hey, dear customer, if you have an initiative where you need to be offsetting what you are producing, now how can we help? Right. Through life cycle management initiatives, we are able to take the customers through. Right. Uh, in terms of changing the way they are thinking of uh, experiencing IT, so instead of having to buy hardware, buy software, buy solutions, 
we want to be able to wrap that up under as a service initiative whereby we will have qualified people to help them achieve you know, uh, standards that they are looking for, KPIs they are looking for, without having to worry about IT because you know, the edge is if IT to the guys who know IT best, right? And the customer then can concentrate on their business. On, on top of that, I think with ESG coming up really, really very strong, and uh, customers are also telling us, they say, hey, Ronnie, it's not enough just that you are doing, how can I play a part? Right, so we'll also introduce a new service called CO2 Offset, whereby customers can decide during their IT procurement process how much CO2 they want to offset. So if you've decided to say, hey, I want to offset 10,000 metric tons, through our partnership on United Nations projects, we are able to then divert these funds you know, to support these initiatives and of course make sure that you know, it's a tripartite uh, making the KPIs together and that is uh, what I feel is really good for everybody. Now how do you think other global companies could lead the way on sustainable innovation? This is an issue that has been uh, procrastinated for too long and I think uh, a global leader like us has to really take the lead you know, to show you know, uh, our stakeholders, our customers that there is a way you know, that they can be part of that process that we are working on they can be part of the ideas that we are looking at. So, for example, you know, the CO2 offset I mentioned, uh, we started that program for a few years back, and last year alone, you know, we helped to offset 500,000 metric tons of CO2. Uh, that's equivalent to about 100,000 cars operating you know, for a year. And, and I, think, I think people are starting to believe that, look, you know, uh, that there's actually some lessons. I wouldn't say I have all the answers, you know, but by all global companies coming together, sharing their skills, experience. Together, I think we can form the solutions of tomorrow that will actually bring us forward even faster. What's Lenovo's approach to investing in sustainable innovation that positively impact the world? We are actually known more for our hardware you know, in, in uh, the last couple of years and we're starting to really get very active in terms of the solutions, the software, the other aspect of things that is coming up. And I think together with that, you know, that, that kind of creates that customer centricity, you know, uh, with us and the, the customers. And I think Lenovo coming together to put all these programs in place, as I mentioned earlier, right, ourselves, what are we doing? Setting scientific based targets, right, uh, challenging ourselves. And, and of course, these targets are not just limited to Lenovo, but the Lenovo ecosystem. And we make sure that suppliers working with us, you know, has that same orientation. And that's what I meant by, you know, if, if the, the big guys take the lead, you know, the, the rest will follow. Then, of course, you know, looking at uh, what, what the customer wants, we're always trying to innovate, or right? always asking ourselves, so within the Lenovo culture, there is this uh, practice called Fu Pan, or reflection, all right, which is really good because uh, after every year, half a year, you sit down, you think through and say, hey, if I've done things this way, how can I do it better for my customers, for my stakeholders tomorrow, some other way? In a nutshell, I think you know, uh, having the Lenovo coming in with a uh, practice whereby we are, we are looking at ourselves internally, we are talking to the customer externally. Now that actually sets the stage right you know, for us to be able to uh, be relevant you know, in this new norm.